What's up, welcome back to another video. My name is Caitlin if you're new, and this video is gonna be a thrifting my Pinterest board challenge, where I find pieces from my Pinterest board and then I go to thrift stores and try and thrift them. I actually don't have much inspiration for today's thrift run. We are moving to New York City in like a week, and this is my favorite thrift store ever. So I wanted to come back here one more time and just look around before we left. So I really don't have anything in mind. I'm trying to be very minimal with the things that I pick up, if I pick up anything at all, because we are moving and downsizing. So with that being said, there's a couple things that I do have in mind that I'm gonna look for. I want some cardigans, smaller cardigans to layer like a white t-shirt underneath. And then I have not found a red sweater yet and I've just been dying to find a red sweater. So those are the two things that are kind of on my list. Do you have anything that you're looking for? No. <laughs> no. no, as usual, no. I'm always okay. looking for shirts, t-shirts. T-shirts, long sleeves. Yeah, just cool stuff. Cool stuff. Looking for cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. thrifting now I wanted to do a try on styling portion of the video and I actually in the dressing room tried on a ton of stuff that I didn't end up buying some of it I didn't did end up buying and I've never done this before but figured I would put some of the videos on the screen here and kind of talk through each of these items and kind of why I picked them up why I didn't take them or then why I did take them and then the pieces that I did bring home I will talk about how I plan on styling them and show you an example of how I plan on styling them. So, since this is the first time I've ever done this type of format for the video, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and if you like this style, I will continue doing this. So the first piece here is this green coat. I picked this up because I absolutely loved the color of this coat. Unfortunately, it was a little too big on me, but so I had to leave it. But I gravitated towards this because I absolutely loved the green color and I have a lot of these types of long coats. I have three now because I did end up finding another one which you'll see in a second. This is the one I ended up getting. It is this gorgeous blue coat and I really fell in love with the velvet collar. I don't have a navy blue coat and so I thought this would be the perfect addition to my collection. Literally can style this a million different ways. I'll put some pictures on the screen, but I think I actually in a recent vlog have worn this coat and I'll find that clip and throw, throw it up on the screen as well. Okay, so this next piece is this tank top. I loved the cut of the tank top and I just always like neutral color tones. Obviously, you can see my bra straps in this video, but I would obviously wear it without this bra. It was just what I had on that day, but I really thought this would be a cute standalone top because the cut, the cut of the neck is pretty unique. This next piece is also something that I ended up going home with. If you've been keeping up with my Pinterest videos, and I haven't posted one in a while, but I have been on the hunt for a red sweater and I literally have not found it. I think at this point I should just buy one that's not thrifted because for some reason I can't find one to thrift. But in the red section, I did end up finding this long sleeve and I feel like these striped long sleeves, I've seen similar ones on like Free People. I feel like they are kind of popular right now, not necessarily red, just like these striped kind of baggy long sleeve shirts. I think that they're perfect for spring. And this next one, I was like, I don't know if this will be cute or not. It could be, it couldn't be. And so I just ended up trying it on and I didn't like it. I feel like it looked a little grandma to me, but obviously I feel like you, when you pick up pieces at the thrift store, they could either 
be amazing or they could be a miss and so I always just like to pick things up try them on and just see how they fit because you never know what you're gonna find I was looking for like little cardigans I've been looking for tiny little cardigans that you can like button up the two buttons and then the, you have like a white tee underneath I'll put some pictures on the screen but I feel like if you've been on Pinterest or Instagram you definitely know what I'm talking about but I had was on the lookout for that and so I ended up finding a couple black sweaters and this one that I found I found I've, I've tried on a couple I bought one this one that I have in the video now is the one that I bought and I'm absolutely obsessed with it like these are the types of pieces that I go thrifting for I feel like you can't find things like this elsewhere unless you pay a ton of money for them but the detailing on this sweater one it's so soft and so comfortable two the detailing is absolutely insane and just beautiful and it fits me perfectly and as you can see in the video i was literally so excited because this is just like exactly what i thrift for so this i figured also i could wear with like a pair of oversized baggy jeans a pair of ballet flats i could also dress it up and do it with a pair of trousers and maybe some heels uh, if you wanted to go that route but so many ways that you can wear a black sweater and i feel like you really can't go wrong but love this next one, again, you can kind of see what I was going for with the black button-up cardigan. This one was just a little big on me, which is why I ended up passing. It was also not the best quality, like it just kind of felt a little bit cheap. So again, ended up passing. Normally I can tell things are bad quality when I pick them up initially. Sometimes you have to put it on and then you kind of realize, eh, this doesn't feel great. But that's what I was going for and this one ended up passing on it. This next one, obviously it's not like a plain black cardigan, but it's a black cardigan that I thought the detailing was cute. I just didn't think it was very flattering. I thought it was a little, again, oversized on me, which I'm totally for oversized. I love oversized things. It's just, this wasn't the right kind of oversized, which is why I ended up passing on it. Again, loved it though, and I loved the button details, which is what gravitated me towards it in the first place. Again, another black button down, you can tell I was there were a few and I was on the hunt for one, but this was tight and it, I liked the way that it fit. I just didn't like how deep the V was. I feel I felt like I wouldn't really wear something that had that deep of a V. You can see I'm wearing a V-neck here, but it's a, still a little high. I was looking for something that wasn't a V-neck at all. I picked this one up just to see if it would work and I just thought it was a little dated with the deep V. This next piece, I was a little hesitant because it was one free people and I figured it's probably not in like good condition or something and it looked extremely oversized, but I ended up trying it on and actually thought it was really, really cute. I ended up purchasing this and I wear it as kind of a comfy sweater around the house. I haven't worn it out because the weather just hasn't been good enough to honestly wear a sweater like this out without a coat and this a coat doesn't fit over this but this is kind of the perfect house sweater i guess if you want to say and i love having house sweaters just to wear around the house when i'm cold or if i'm hopping on a meeting and i'm cold and i just want to throw something on i have a couple of these and so i picked this one up because one the price tag was insane i think it was like five dollars or something and then two again these are just kind of good to have around the house to throw on Next are the these loafers. I loved these tassel loafers. I found a pair of tassel loafers that are brown that I ended up picking up. I think in my last thrift haul, you can watch that video and see those. And I found this black pair, but they ultimately ended up being a little too big. So I ended up passing, especially with us moving to New York City. I need shoes that are comfortable, that I will wear, that I can wear, not that are a little big on me or a little snug or not comfortable or cheap. So I'm very being very, very particular about the shoes that I end up buying, but these ones looked really good and they were comfortable. They just were a little big on me, so I had to pass. And that's it for everything that I tried on. So I wanted to now go through kind of the things that I bought and then me styling them. So the very first thing, like I said, is this gorgeous blue coat. And I figured I would style this a little bit more casual because I just feel like on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm a little bit more casual. I'm not really super dressy. And this can go for any color long coat. It doesn't just have to be blue. But I just styled this with a pair of jeans and a sweater that I thought complemented the blue really well. And then, like I said, I love blue and brown combo. So I paired it with a brown bag to just tie in that brown element that I absolutely love with blue. 
for the tank i just paired with an oversized pair of jeans a pair of ballet flats which i think a pair of like red ballet flats would be so cute with this i have been eyeing a pair of red shoes i either want a pair of like red mary janes red ballet flats but i feel like with this outfit is like the perfect example of what i would wear those red shoes with but i don't have a pair of those so i just ended up pairing it with my black ones and then oversized jeans and just a cute little shoulder bag to tie off the look this gorgeous black sweater and this is also kind of one of those items that you can take from day to night where you can wear it to the office swap out the pants or even the shoes and then wear it for a date night drinks with friends drinks with co-workers whatever the case may be but i love the pieces that you can wear to the office and you can wear them not in the office as well i never like to buy things for for work because i feel like if i'm only wearing it to work and i'm not going to wear it outside of work i feel like it's a waste so i always try and find pieces that i can wear to work and outside of work just so i can get the most wear out of all of my clothes the last piece being the sweater and i just styled this super comfy so you can kind of get an idea of what i mean when i say like house sweater so i just paired this with a pair of comfy pants and then a tighter shirt and then you throw this on over and it just kind of makes your outfit look super super cozy and then last but not least is the red shirt that i absolutely love so i figured that i would actually show you how i style this where you can't see the shirt and then an example of it where you can see the shirt so where you can't see the shirt i paired it with this gray sweater and then i just rolled up the sleeves a little bit paired it with a pair of baggy jeans and some shoes thought this would just be the perfect like cozy look for having a casual outfit to run errands to work in whatever the case and then i also just paired it with a and i'll just put a picture on the screen here because i actually took a picture in this with a oversized jacket oversized pair of pants and i rolled up the pants a little bit with some loafers and then i thought this this was an outfit i actually wore to go grocery shopping and like wore for the work day but i work from home so you can only see like my tops you can only see the red shirt on the top so this would work if you were working from home um, just having like a cute t shirt on top baggy pants when you're sitting at a computer all day And then when you leave the house pairing it with a pair of loafers and throwing on a leather jacket is like the perfect spring outfit That concludes this episode of thrifting my Pinterest board if you liked this way that I Kind of walked through the items that I picked that I tried on picked up but didn't end up purchasing Let me know I could definitely continue doing that but if you're not already, make sure to subscribe because a lot more of these videos are coming now that we are settled in our apartment and I'm checking out thrift stores, literally went to a thrift store today so that I can start creating more of these videos here in New York City. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at my next video.